Cloth and Blender in less than 10 minutes. Cloth and Blender is a very useful tool. It can be used as a curtain that actually works. It can be used as a, a cloth, hence the name of the simulation. It can also be used to hide unfinished upcoming projects and things like that. So let's get into it. To start off with, uh, hit Shift A, M, then P to add a plane. Hit G, Z, scale up, hit Control A, and then S. Now I can rotate it. Um, tab into edit mode, hit Control R, and then move your mouse button up to add a bunch of loop cuts. You can do less if you want, but I, I just want to make this be overdone a bit. Then hit enter, then enter again. Do the same thing on the other side. Try to do the loop cuts to where it looks like the one on the bottom on the bottom corner over here looks like a complete square. There we go. Now we're going to add cloth to the plane here in the physics panel. I'm going to hit this little icon over here for presets. I'm going to select silk. I'm going to do 10 full quality steps. Scroll down to the bottom. There'll be this collisions panel here. Open that. And check self collisions. Now go to the uh, I used a monkey here just for the presentation. Hit collision here on the physics panel. Um, maybe your case might be different, but I usually always uncheck single sided. When we check collision, it selects what the cloth should collide with. And I'm going to add a material op already made. Now let's see. Hit spacebar to push play. Alright, that's a good stopping point. If you're watching this video to make a cloth simulation that moves and goes through the video, well, you can click off now if you want. But, if you're like me and maybe you want to just have a cool blanket that is a static mesh, well, what I do is I go over to the modifiers, I add a subdivision surface modifier, I'm gonna set it to 2, I'm gonna right click out here and hit shade auto smooth. Now I'm going to add a solidify modifier. I prefer for the modifier to extend the mesh out rather than in. And then now I'm going to put this, the solidify modifier, above the subdivision surface modifier. So now the edges are smooth. And I like how this looks right here. So I can hit apply all, which means this is now a permanent static mesh that looks like this. You can see this. This is not the only use for cloth. If I add another plane, rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees, and apply the rotation. I'm going to scale it up a bit, and scale it on the z-axis, and apply the scale. Now I'm going to add some loop cuts. There we go. Do the same thing as the cloth before. I'm going to add the new material. Now, whenever you push play and then pause, you can move the mesh, but it doesn't really do anything because it's during the simulation. And, for example, I'm going to make a keyframe here for a location and scale. I'm going to go to 20. I'm 
can create another one for the same. Then here on 60, I'm going to move it on the x-axis a bit and scale it on the x-axis down a bit and then create another keyframe for location and scale. Now if you watch this, this doesn't do what we want it to because that, that's just not the way it works. But there's something called a pin group. Now first to use that, let's uh, select this top edge here. Now go to data properties down here. Now let's create a vertex group. You can name it if you want, but I'm not going to. Now with this top brim selected, assign the vertex group. You can hit deselect and select to make sure it's selected. Now go back to the physics panel and down here there'll be a panel with shape on it. Uh, click, the, drop that down and there'll be pin group. And then there'll be the vertex groups and select the one you made here. Now watch this. There are better examples of that, but what this does is it it's basically now when you move the object, it controls the pin group. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do curtains. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Cloth is a really nice, useful tool in Blender. I use it. It's fun, and I hope you use it too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.